Mechanic Dan here with Runyon Surface Prep. I'm going to be talking about some troubleshooting for the CPS 320. CPS 320 is a pretty basic engine, uh, fuel, electric, compression, and you're good to go. Uh, one of the first things you have to pay attention to is the regulator. You have to be getting good fuel. Oftentimes people overfill their tanks and the liquid propane actually gets into the regulator and you'll see it all freeze up, get all frosty, and then it'll have to defrost again. The diaphragm in there can only take that a couple times before it starts drying up and really creates problems. So be sure not to overfill your tank. Keep an eye on that regulator, make sure it's not frosted up. Another issue sometimes is the emission box. The emission box is what reads your emission coming out. Two things control this. Your oil sending unit, as long as you have oil pressure, it will allow current to go to your box and keep it running. This little red tab on the top, this light will light up and tell you what's going on. If the light comes on and it dies, that tells you one of two things. Either your O2 sensor is reading too much carbon emission or your oil sending unit has kicked out and telling you it doesn't have oil pressure. Be sure and check both those. That's pretty easy right off the bat. If there's an issue with your O2 sensor, there's really no way you can check it. it can lie to you if you put an ohms tester on it and you have to apply voltage to it so just replace that if that's an issue another thing that cps has done is they've upgraded their wiring harness it's really easy if you have problems with your wiring harness just take the whole wiring harness out it comes in two sections one goes up to your control panel and one goes through to your engine really easy to change out quick, easy change, and it eliminates a lot of problems. The other troubleshooting is more into the basics of the turntable itself and belts. And we're gonna have another video on replacing belts, bearings, and everything in the turntable. Mostly bearings going out, but belts pretty common. So that's about it for troubleshooting on the CPS. If you have any needs, don't forget all our parts, CPS parts are on our website. Thank you very much. Thank you.